Hello, Emily. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. I first heard about Odessite from my sister, I think. I currently live right outside of Boston. I'm a school social worker. So I'm Taylor. Um, I am Odessite skincare coach. Um, my name is Valerie. I'm the founder and CEO of Odessite. I want to ask you, is there just, just one thing that you like about your skin? I don't know if you can tell it's the winter, so I obviously haven't been getting as much sun and on Zoom, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually have a lot of freckles and they're all over my body, but I do love my freckles. I know, and awesome. so is yeah. Taylor. Taylor is a freckle, freckle Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now tell us a little bit about your, your skin concern. And so, well, we can put a, a plan together. Sure. So um, first, my skin is very sensitive. Um, it'll react if it doesn't like something it'll get kind of like a tingly burning feeling and it'll definitely go red um it also tends to be really dry it's very cold here in boston so i'll get like dry patches kind of around my nose or right on either side of my mouth i kind of have rough bumpy skin right next to my mouth and that will often develop into a breakout yeah i think those are kind of the the big things, but I can definitely dive deeper into some if you want me to. Really the rule for sensitive skin is to slowly introduce new products so that your skin has time to adapt to it. You know, I always, it, oh, again, because I come from being a, you know, health and wellness coach, I really want to take into account also, you know, environmental factors because they do affect your skin. Um, in a tremendous way. We're gonna get you on the your best kid ever. Great, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. It was so nice to get to talk to both of you. about what your first impressions are when you first saw the products. Um, what did you think when you tried them out over the weekend? Yeah, I, well, I was very excited when I opened the box. Um, I didn't know, I mean, I knew like some of the stuff that we had talked about last week, but I think that was maybe five things. And so there were obviously a lot more than five things. So I was very excited. How have the routines, the morning routine and the nighttime routine we set up for you been working as far as the steps and everything goes, the beauty snack? So it's been good. Um, I, my skin has reacted great to it. No irritation or redness. Um, so that's been great. And the only thing I notice is that I feel like I'm waking up and my skin is a little bit dry, like dried out. Um, like that, the cream, the day cream, the time release cream is definitely enough moisture during the day. Um, but I don't know, it's just something about sleeping or whatever happens when I'm asleep to my skin that it just seems like it's not quite enough moisture for me maybe. The fact that you're able to use these products right now with the start routine and that you don't have any kind of sensitivity reaction, it means that we are on a really good start right now. Um, so we can actually start maybe manipulating some of the products a little bit differently, maybe adding a couple more um, just to target um, those other concerns such as like the hydration factor. I'm really happy to hear that the, the products have been working for you. Um, again, just because we are talking about um, some breakouts around there, I want to make sure that these are still working to target the inflammation as well as the hydration in your skin before we jump into like super, super spot treatment um, kind of products. skincare routine been working for you since we adjusted it a little bit the last time? So um, I really like mixing the serum into the oleosome. Am I saying uh -huh. that right? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really like mixing that in in the morning. Like it's kind of nice to have the, the extra step of 
pressing it into my skin at night. Well, I did the two serums. So took out the moisturizer and did the recovery serum and then the other, the hibiscus one um, at night. And I did find that I still was getting some dryness like around my nose, and not, not as bad as it has been at other times, but definitely still noticing some dryness when I woke up kind of like in this area. And yeah, I have, I really like the rec the recovery serum. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. That one feels really nice and like creamy putting it on. Uh, how have the breakouts around here been doing? So I've been noticing they're still popping up, but they go away pretty quickly. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if that means it's still part of the, um, the purge period <laughs> or if, or if this is just my typical breakout. Um, but I did, like, it does seem kind of like when one goes away, another one pops up. They definitely don't feel as, like, inflamed or painful. That's actually a really good sign um, that you're noticing them not, like, stay, like, not staying as long. Um, they just kind of seem to, like, come and they'll go away with this routine that we have. Um, it definitely sounds to me that it's still just your skin slightly purging a bit. Um, it has okay. been about now going on almost two weeks. Um, since you've had the product. So this is like totally normal to have this kind of purging happen. Okay. Um, which brings me to actually what I wanted to try doing with you today, if you're totally up for it, um, is sure. I want to actually do your nighttime routine with you. And I wanted okay. to include the Synergy mask that you've got in there as well, because this can actually really help with pulling out any of the congestion that's stuck in the skin. but you're gonna do that whole nighttime routine still. We are going to switch out the um, All Embracing for the Blue Balm. I'm very, very excited to hear what you think about that one. So I wanted to, uh, to join in because you're halfway through the Build Your Best Skin campaign. You look like you're glowing, really. And uh, I wanted to check in and see how things are going for you. On the hydration, do you see any improvement? Yes, definitely. I, it's kind of interesting, like in this same area is, is where I'll wake up with a dry patch still sometimes. Um, so it's where I'm breaking out and dry. Um, but I overall feel a lot more moisturized. I really love the blue balm. It's incredible. It feels so good. Just like, like rub it everywhere. <laughs> I put it on my lips, rub it into my hands. I really love that. And so that's been a really nice last step to seal it all in. By the way, how has your sensitivity level oh. been um, since using those products? Have you noticed that your skin is less sensitive over time since using our products? I yes, and I, I don't think I've seen you, Valerie, since our first meeting, And but I think I might have told Taylor this, that I, like, after just a few days of using that, noticed the redness in my skin go down so much, um, and I didn't have any of that. I, I've stopped having any of that burning sensation, um, like, if a little bit of time lapses between the cleansing and the moisturizing, I don't feel any kind of, like, itchy or burning. Um, like, I'll still feel dry, obviously, but, yeah, it it's definitely helped. I really like that one and it feels like I didn't think that was something that could change. So it's a very nice surprise. I'm excited. I've really loved how everything's feeling and um, it's, yeah, it's been nice to have a new relationship with my skin a little bit. I have been really loving the gua sha. I, one night I did it on just one half of my face and then took a picture and sent it to my sister. And I was like, guess which side I gua sha already? Um, because there's definitely a noticeable difference of like what looked more tight and lifted and stuff, so. Do you feel like having these like little self-care moments, like do you feel like that's also made a difference in 
how your skin is reacting as well too and how your skin's been feeling throughout this whole journey. Yeah, I feel like like I'm not so stressed, I guess, or I'm really taking the skincare time in the morning and at night um, as self-care and like I'm really able to kind of just focus on what I'm doing and like the massage, the rubbing everything in and, and using the little sponges to cleanse it all off and feel like I'm really cleansing off the stress of the day or the worries for the day in the morning. Um, and so I feel like that has just, just has me feeling more calm. And I, I feel like I've been seeing that in my skin, like it looks brighter and um, like I can feel, I know I've said this, like the bumpiness on my chin has gone away. Um, and so I definitely do feel like all of that is coming through. So nice to see you again. If I look at my notes from the first time we met, Emily, I wrote down that you have a sensitive skin that reacts easily, dry all year long, some black head, especially around the nose and mouth and a few breakouts, right? Yeah. yeah. So let me start with breakouts because it's always interesting to see if we were able to improve. What what did you see in terms of breakout? I think that the blackheads on my chin, like I feel like my chin just looks like my chin again and not like there's lots of little black dots all over it. So tell me about how how is the sensitivity? Yeah, so I would say overall the sensitivity, um, I definitely had to go back in with like and refocus on the sensitivity because it was it was like the same culprit around my face but now i feel like that has calmed down like i'm not waking up with flaky skin or taking my mask off at the end of the day and it's not flaking off so i i do think that's kind of calmed down again and i liked that i kind of knew what to do to help yeah them exactly fit. yeah so now you're in control of your skin and that's the whole idea is though that's the routine is we give you the tools to because only you, you know, your skin changes every day. So only you know exactly right. how to, to address. You have the tools, focus on the sensitivity. And one other thing I wanted to ask how you're feeling, because I know the consistent dryness was a big concern of yours, um, especially when we first started this, we were really like in that prime winter time. Um, and I know that since you've been starting, you have mentioned that the dryness has definitely been alleviated and has improved a lot since then. If you want to give us like a little idea about how that has been overall for you. Yeah, so the dryness at first, I know we kind of went through a little trial and error period trying, first we were using just the serums or I think, yeah, just one serum and then we added another and then we ended up taking one out and adding the blue ball on. So um, it was definitely kind of a, a journey to find what was going to work for my dry, dry skin. For sure. And you even saw a difference once we gave you the blue ball repair. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's definitely been um, nice. And I also have really enjoyed the gua sha at night, feeling like I'm really massaging it into my skin and I'm really, it's really like soaking in. So I feel very happy with the hydration and the smoothness of my skin. So I know the Blue Balm was game changer for you. <laughs> Is there any other product that you feel was also game changer for you? I really like the cleanser. When I use it, it's so gentle and I still feel like my skin's getting clean. And then afterwards, like if, if I didn't put my next product on right away, I still, I wouldn't feel like I was cracking. Like I don't feel like my skin doesn't feel stripped. It just feels fresh. And I really like the Oleosomes uh, uh, moisturizer. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this one's not the, a face product, but I have been loving the body oil. Oh, yeah. um, I love that I can just put it on right after the shower and it smells so good. So I really just love that one. Thank you so much. I, I really have enjoyed this process and it's fun to know that now I can think, okay, what does my skin need? And I kind of, I have better tools to respond. Awesome. That's what we, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> exactly. And I still love my freckles. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>